Hi, I'm Donna Whittington from the Color of Jazz Internet TV show, and today I have Rob Rogers with me from BTW Concerts. Rob, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am well. Rob, tell us, tell us what you do. I'm the production manager. I basically build all this or organize it. Hire the crews, get the staging, get the lighting, coordinate with the band, set up the schedules, coordinate with the rest of the team from BTW to set up the seating, just basically build everything, all the things that people just come here and are waiting for them. Starts out with a lawn and turns into a venue. Wow, yes, and then here's the venue, folks. So there's the venue, and of course, Rob Rogers from BTW Concerts. He makes it all happen. You With the all rest the of the staff. guys. Exactly. With the rest of the guys. Rob, how many staff do you guys have? We have um, about a dozen full-time staff. Okay. They work for BTW. Many, we have a full box office plus uh, managerial staff, people that handle the front of the house, the vendors, the staging. And then we have Brad, which is the... The boss. The big boss. The big boss. The big boss. Okay. And of course, you know what? I think we're going to talk to Brad, to Brad a little bit later um, as well. So I'm looking forward to chatting with him. And um, now on a show like this, the staffing is over 100. Wow. Probably 120 people out here to run this size of a venue. Okay. From ticket takers to security to ushers to bartenders, everything is needed. Okay. Now, and how many times do you guys do shows like this a year? This year we do six of these a year. Okay. We do two in San Diego, two in Phoenix, and two in Las Vegas. Nice, nice. Now, of the of all six of them, where does this line? Is this like the biggest, the smallest? And this is our most intimate venue at about 2,200. Okay. Um, and it's also, like I said, with the intimacy and with, with the hotel right here, it's it's the most relaxing of all our shows, just for us, because it's so self-contained. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, you know what? So here's something that I, I'm always interested in. Tell us, and educate us actually, if you would, educate us as to what concert goers should really be aware of. Well, the first thing that they should be aware of is you know, that they buy a seat, and wherever they buy their seat, that's where their seat is. That's their seat. If somebody else is in front of them, they bought a better seat, you really shouldn't be infringing on them. I mean, one can get kicked out of somebody where to get a security True. Inside. But just <clears throat> imagine if you were sitting in a seat, and somebody at a lesser seat came up and sat in front of you or stood in front of you because there wasn't even a seat there. Right. So stay in your seats and have fun. The other thing is when, when you're in an intimate place like this where the artists co-mingle and walk through the crowds and go through the casinos, feel free to meet them and talk to them, but respect their you know, privacy too. If they're with their families, if they're eating, let them eat. Okay. And they'll, I mean, they'll be glad to talk to everybody and what have you, but just give them the same respect you would want for yourself. That's my biggest thing on it. Huh? I mean, because when you meet them inside, that's what sets the mood for the concert. If they get upset, they're going to come out here with a different mood. Right. So we take, we're very careful from the beginning to the end to nurture their entire atmosphere. Okay. To give our guests the best possible show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, everyone. So now you know, and you know, it's also. <laughs> Behave, and it's about the artist time too. Especially now with Facebook, everybody wants a good picture, yeah. right? Wait, wait, wait—that's not a good picture. Let me take a picture. Let me do another. One. Can we do another one? So yeah, yeah. We, we really have to be respectful. And I, you know, I'm I'm a little um, I'm one of those people. So I will do better. You have my word. I You're promise. Doing great. Oh, thank you. All right, folks. Donna Whittington from the Color of Jazz here at the Las Vegas Jazz Festival. And folks, I got to tell you, it is on and popping here. Are there still some tickets available? There are still a few Maybe tickets left. Just a few, folks. Very so, few. Um, and that's just because we probably added some chairs. Oh, okay. To convenience you people who missed yours. I know, right? So there's still a few tickets left, you know. Um, today, Saturday, you have a great lineup. Yes. And Sunday. So Charlie Wilson got it kicked off last night with Life Jennings and Eric Darius. Tonight, Full House. 
Indy R.E. is Jeffrey here. Osborne. Jeffrey Osborne. Huge Groove. Huge Groove. Norman Brown and Rick Braun. Jesse J. Michael Linkton. Jonathan Pritson. Paul Taylor. Oh, you are good. Dominic Amato. It's a big lineup. It's a big lineup. Folks. And, of course, Anthony Hamilton and Kim tomorrow night. Oh, that's right. Which that's right. you do not want to miss. Right on. That's true. Now, it starts at what time? Doors are open at 11. Show starts at 12. Okay. Show starts at 12. Goes to? 10.30 tonight. And then tonight, as if that wasn't enough, there is a jam session. They basically, Jonathan White's playing inside the casino in the Addison Lounge. And as you probably saw last night, Eric Darius came out and played. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Michael Lington came out and played. All the artists just going in jamming there. Yes. Huge Groove was there. He didn't play, but Huge was Huge there. Huge showed up. I mean, we've had yes. every one of them from, you know, Jeffrey comes out and plays. We never know which one's going to show up. Oh. They have all showed up to our jam sessions over the last couple oh of years. Oh, my God. Okay. You never know. And you get a statement. A very, very intimate atmosphere. That's true. That's true. And then last night, the um, the jam session was just amazing, folks. It was off the hook. I, I left at 1 o'clock, so... I don't know what time it ended, but um, I don't know what time it was. It, I was in bed at twelve because I was 12? dead. But, well, yeah, and you had to be up early this morning. Six thirty. Woo! Yeah, that comes too early. All right, folks. Again, Donna Whittington from the Color of Jazz. We will see you again with someone else. We'll talk to from BTW concerts and some of the artists as well. And this is the man I got to check in with to to get to the artist. So he's my best friend. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye.